Hey guys, today I'm doing a video on the look that I have on my face right now. I decided to do something a little bit more creative today, um, so because of that and because of like the time that I needed to focus on my creativity on the eyes, this is an eyes only look, but I hope that you guys still like it and if you want to see how to achieve this look I got going on, please keep watching. Alright, so to start with I'm going to be using the NYX Ultimate Basics um, palette and this is like the ultimate brights palette and it just has like every bright color you would ever want to play with right in here and I'm going to be um, creating a bright yellow haze all around the eyes. This look was almost entirely inspired by the flowers I have behind me so if you need a um, preview for what is going to be going on then you can just check them out. And the brush that I'm using is actually from the Kylie Royal Peach Palette. It's a really good blending brush. I'm very pleasantly surprised. And I already had some warm tones on it, so I didn't mind um, using the dirty brush. So I'm going to be focusing this yellow throughout the crease and slightly winged out on my eye shape. Um, I really have to focus color above my crease if I want to be seeing it while my eyes are open. So that is precisely what I'm doing. So again, I am just hazing, hazing, hazing this yellow, and I'm creating a shape for the winged liner later. So it's going to be going across the lash line, out, and then back through the crease, and that is why I want to make sure that the color is also focused above that crease, so that there's a full haze on the top of the liner. I also want to bring that haze down to the lower lash line, very, very um, spread. So even the full, if you're using like a typical size blending brush, I want the whole brush head under that lash line. And I really want a huge yellow haze all around the eyes. And this is what it'll look like after. And next I'm going to go in with this sort of orangey... Um, orangey yellow color. Another good color to use if you don't have this NYX Ultimate Brights palette. Um, you would have to probably find your own yellow because I don't have one, but um, we're starting to get into my good warm tones. So like um, Chickadee by um, Makeup Geek would be a perfect next shade. It would actually probably even be better, but I'm going to stick with this NYX Ultimate Brights palette just because I like to keep it as simple as I possibly can. No, I don't really, but I'm going to try to. Now, what I'm going to do with this is really on a nice little more detailed brush, um, I'm going to focus that color right through the crease, and then I'll blend out. I'm also having it follow that wing shape as well. So I have this, and I'm going to go ahead and blend out. And this color is really going to be the truest, truest marker for where that um, liner will be going. So this is a little bit more important. We're doing less haze and more detail work on this one. And then once we go in with this third color we're about to go in with, which is going to be a deeper orange, that will be the most precise. So yellow is the least precise, followed by the golden orange, followed by the orange. Alright, and the third and final color that I'm going to use to deepen all of this up is going to be Dazzling by Morphe, and I guess I'm a liar because that's not a part of the Ultimate Brights palette, but as I said, I was trying. I was trying to keep it simple. And this one, you're just going to sketch out very detailed where you want that white liner for later. And then after I'm done sketching this out, I'm going to go mirror that slightly golden orange and this um, orange orange to the lower lash line. So first with that golden yellow from the Ultimate Brights palette, and I'm just using my finger because I'm kind of lazy now. And then with this detailed brush, I'm going to take that orange and bring it right along the lower lash line. So we're following the same kind of haze that we did on the lid and we're following it on the lower lash line. So more of the yellow showing, 
less of the golden yellow and the least of the orange orange. All right, so once you are done sketching out your shape, this is what the shadows should look like or however, whatever shape you created with the shadows, they, the gradient should look similar to this. And then what you're going to do to create the really, the powerful statement of this look is take some white liquid liner. I'm using NYX's um, white liquid liner. It's just, um, it's not a felt tip. It's like the liner liner that has a brush. And I'm going to very, very carefully trace out a wing and connect that wing through my crease to create sort of a V shape. Um, and I'm going to be very careful to keep the white liner within the darkest orange shadow. So I'll show you what I'm doing right now. So we will trace the upper lash line. And then I'm going to wing that out following the dark orange. And then I'm going to be connecting this wing through the crease to create that V shape and be very careful not to blink during this time because then you'll get everything everywhere and it'll be a mess. So I put some dots just so I can uh, very quickly connect them instead of having to be really careful and taking forever. This is a nice little trick. Now that I have the dots connected, I'm just going to make sure that there's a nice wing on the end that comes to a clean tip. Same with the, um, the end of the line in the crease. I just want to make sure it doesn't just end like it is right now. It's very blunt. I want to make sure it's feathering to a point. So this is roughly what you're going to be left with. I'm going to go ahead and copy this onto the next eye. It'll take about 20 minutes, like this one just took me. Um, but then we'll come back and pop some fun false lashes on. All right, so I went ahead and matched this eye to this eye, um, right? Yeah. And so this is what it looks like now. It looks a little weird without mascara and such. Um, but then what, another thing that I did off camera was I just took a clean spoolie and ran it through the tops of my lashes to get any excess um, white liner off because it's kind of hard to apply, well at least I think it is, hard to apply mascara to the top of the lashes without getting the black mascara on the white liner. So if you're good at that, you can skip that part. But what I'm going to do is first take my Maybelline Colossal uh, mascara and run it very carefully, very carefully over the top, ah, tops of my lashes get any extra white gone and if you do get mascara on the liner you can fix it and just be a little bit more careful so it's not just a constant back and forth game of liner on your on your lashes lashes on your liner so then I'm going to take my Tartist lash tart Tartist lash paint and apply it like regular mascara through the bottoms And with this, I'm going to apply a fairly heavy amount of regular mascara before we put our falsies on because you will see in a second the falsies are um, more of a fun kind of a lash. So there are little gaps that you will be able to see in between them and I want to make sure that my real lashes can show through in those gaps. So it's not too weird looking, just a little bit funkier than usual. Now I'm going through, adding some mascara to my bottom lashes, and then jumping on over to my favorite thing in the whole world, my House of Lashes um, Lash Story Pro, and I'm going to go in and grab, um, let's see, I think I'm going to grab my House of Lashes Siren. I was deciding between House of Lash Lashes Siren and Socialize um, Lady because they're fairly similar, um, but Siren is a bit more um, dramatic, I would say. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and grab those and plop them on my lashes. I'm gonna paint on my glue with my duo lash glue, wherever that is. Oh my gosh, I have so much makeup just thrown about right now. So I'm gonna go ahead, this is the brush on glue, brush it on the band and let it dry. So as you can see, these have like gaps in the lash. And that's why I wanted to apply a nice hearty coat of regular mascara onto my regular lashes so they could peek through. All right, looking good, and then I'm gonna put my other lash on, and I'll be right back. All right, and so now that I have my lashes on, I'm actually gonna do one more thing. I'm going to apply the Makeup Forever Starlet Powder in 02, which is this super, super pretty. I don't know if you can tell um, on the lid. It's a super, super, super iridescent, very yellow, yellow. If that makes sense. It's very vibrant yellow. It's not, it's not really a golden sheen. It's like full yellow. I'm going to apply that to the tops of my cheekbones through the brow bone. And then in the inner corner as well. This product is so, so, oh, oh pretty. And the yellow in this specific color is, or the, this, this shade I should say in itself, is um, just so unique. And I really love that um, a main brand mainstream brand has it out in Sephora's right now so I am uh, very pleased with this. See? Just adds a nice yellow kick to this already fairly yellow look. Like look at that. That is insane. Insane. In our corner. And you know what? Since we're doing fun, uh, doing fun, having fun on this look, I'm going to actually apply it to the um, Cupid's bow too. And if you were wondering, on my lips, I have um, the Sugar Pill Liquid Lipstick in Trinket. It's a really pretty rose with gold glitter in it. And I think this Makeup Forever powder actually really looks cool on the Cupid's bow. And this, my friends, is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it, and I really hope you liked this more creative video that I threw out at you guys. If you have any ideas, please leave them in the comments below. Any information that you may be wondering about will be in the description below, and if it's not, leave me a comment. All right, have a good day. Bye.